Here's a rather tatty looking box on which you might just be able to see the writing the British calculator. Let me open it up and there it is. The British calculator. It has a stylus. This is not an original one. It used to come with two uh, styluses right here uh, made of bone. And yeah, this disc is uh, a calculator invented by Herbert Dickinson uh, and Mabel Dickinson in 1905. And that's when they patented it. Let me just take this out of the box. There we go. This ribbon has uh, yeah, broken off so you can't easily take it out of the box with that. On the edge here, here you see a serial number, 1681. And here is the manufacturer, TJ Marshall and Co. Manufacturers. Because uh, Herbert and Mabel Dickinson probably took this to TJ Marshall to get uh, manufactured. That They were based in Stoke Newington in uh, London, in the Campbell Works. And yeah, so this was made in 1906 or 1907, because in, in 1907 uh, the Dickinsons and the Campbell brothers who, who ran this company uh, set up a new company called the British Calculators uh, Company. And yeah, from then on that company made this. And. Uh, so from 1907 onwards you don't see uh, T.J. Marshall printed, uh, engraved on the side anymore. It's a calculator made for uh, British currency and to enter a, a number, a number of pence, you just put the stylus in and turn it round to the end. And uh, it carries over automatically. It's a bit stiff though on this first ring. There we go, it carries. This third ring carries uh, when it uh, hits 50. And this inner um, wheel, it's not a ring, this uh, yeah, goes up to 450. So any amount below £500 you can uh, add up. Uh, to clear the register you have a look at uh, the teeth here. There's a small red dot on some of the teeth. And if you move that red dot to the end then uh, it, it uh, zeroes. You have to go from outside inwards because uh, yeah, when it reaches the end, it carries over. Of course, the uh, the scale of this inner ring only goes up to twenty, but it carries when it hits fifty. So you have to move it around a bit until you see the red tooth, and then go there. And lastly, move this little wheel in the middle. Now it's back to zero again. It's a very simple calculator. And uh, yeah, when the um, when this new company, the British Calculator Company, started making these, they made lots of variants. They had ones with uh, four wheels and even five or six wheels. And they were not just for uh, currency, but also imperial weights or just decimal currency as well. And uh, yeah, it's a very very simple machine. Let me open it up and show you what's inside. This will take a moment, I'll have to undo a few screws.
So three screws on the side, also a screw on this little wheel. And the center screw. And now the whole cover comes off. Here you can see the mechanism. It actually has rings rather than discs. And these two bars are the carries from the outer disc to the inner disc, middle disc, and then from the middle disc to the inner disc. As the ring moves round, there's a little pin under, underneath the ring, and that hits this small lever here. And uh, when that uh, pushes that lever, that pushes the arm, uh, which in turn has a small latch that pushes the middle ring. And uh, yeah, this middle ring does the same thing. And now it's, uh, it hits the uh, carry. There we go. This, uh, this inner ring, that has to carry to this, uh, yeah, this extra number wheel. And that does it uh, the other way round. The outer rings had a, a pin that pushed a latch, a fixed latch. And here we have uh, a fixed pin underneath on the case and the ring itself has the lever. Let me just move it all the way around. There we go. Now you see this little lever moving out and that would uh, shift the, the wheel one step further. This machine was uh, made from 1906 till about 1914 and possibly also in around 1920 again when a new company was set up, new British calculators. Um, it may have been done, set up by Herbert Dickinson himself, but uh, I'm not sure. That only lasted a year or two, maybe. Um, it's, it's amazing how many different variations were made of this machine but there are not many um, actual machines made. I mean, of this first variant, about 2,000 were made, and of the others, it's not known how many, uh, how many uh, items there are. So, this was the British calculator. Thank you for watching.